Wow. Today on the Edgy Veg, I'm going to show you how to make bean and cheese taquitos, perfect for the Super Bowl or whatever football game you are watching with your friends. And if you're like me and not into sports, just make it for like the party. Perfect party food. Whatever party you're throwing, whether it's for sports or for not sports. Subscriber of the week this week is Lizzie Violet. Thank you, Lizzie, for leaving your awesome comments on all of our videos. And if you want to be subscriber of the week next week, make sure that you leave us comments, like our videos, and follow me on social media. The links are all in the description box below. Taquitos are one of my favorite party foods because they're super, super easy to make. It's just refried beans and homemade nacho cheese sauce wrapped inside a crunchy corn tortilla and served with a bunch of dipping sauces, which is like the best thing ever. Who doesn't like sauce? Step one to any successful recipe is to preheat your oven. So do that to 350 degrees. For these taquitos, I like to use corn tortillas. I find that they just crisp up really nice in the oven as opposed to flour tortillas, which tend to get kind of dry in the oven. I'm going to heat them up in the microwave first so that they become nice and pliable only for like 15 seconds. Now that our corn tortillas are nice and soft and ready to go, this is like the easiest assembly for anything ever. We're just gonna take these refried beans and my homemade cheese sauce and just put them on the inside. I like to put the beans at the bottom, just spread it out. Not too much, you want about a tablespoon and about a tablespoon or a little bit less of the cheese. The first one, you're always just gonna put too much. Secure them with a toothpick and then just put them on a plate. I like to do like anywhere between like 10 and 20 because they are small and you're probably feeding a lot of people. So I would do like 20. Now just take a baking pan and we're gonna put some olive oil on that. Usually you deep fry these if you get them from like the store or when you're in a restaurant, but we're not gonna deep fry something today. I know, shocker, right? So we're just gonna put the olive oil on the bottom, spread it out. I mean, you can use your hands or like a piece of saran wrap, but I'm, I just have this brush, so I'm gonna use that. And then we're gonna lay the taquitos down, seam first. And then I'm just gonna brush some olive oil on top of that. We're gonna stick them in the oven for about 15 minutes, flipping them after 15, and then cooking them for another five. Now keep your eye on them. Some corn tortillas tend to burn or crisp up more quickly than other ones. I don't know why, I'm not a scientist. So check on them every five minutes. While those guys are in the oven, you don't wanna go too far anyway because you have to make the sauces. So I like to use any leftover cheese sauce that I have as a dip, but also I'm gonna make a creamy salsa sauce. This is super easy. You just want half a cup of vegan sour cream and a quarter cup of salsa. If you like spicy, add some jalapenos to that and whisk it together and you have a creamy salsa sauce. And of course, with any like Tex-Mex or Mexican inspired recipe, you need guac because it's guac and it's delicious and everybody loves guac. Okay, let's take these guys out. Ooh, look at how cute they are. They smell amazing. Let's plate them. Let's give these guys a try. I am so excited. What dip should I go for? The cheese? Yeah, let's go for the cheese. Oh my God. No wonder people go to Super Bowl parties. They get to eat this food all night. Mm. All right, guys, there you guys have it. An easy, vegan, crispy, delicious taquito recipe, perfect for your Super Bowl party or watching any other sport in general or just hanging out with your friends. It's a crowd pleaser, I promise. It's so good. If you like this recipe, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and let me know what you are cooking for your Super Bowl party in the comment section below. If you have not hit that subscribe button, please do, and we can be friends. And make sure that you hit that bell notification right next to the subscribe button so that you get a notification every time we have a new video that comes out. Thank you to our Patreon supporters for supporting us every week. I will leave a link to Patreon in the description box below. I hope you have an amazing Super Bowl and an amazing week, and I'll see you next week. Bye!